God bless you, my brothers and sisters. This is your brother in Christ, Euclid Gray. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? If it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? So if you don't mind, I don't know where you at. You may be in your car, maybe in the kitchen, maybe on your phone. Don't think it's queer or weird when I ask you to participate with me to give God the praise he's so worthy of. Hallelujah, Lord. We love you, God. We honor you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We praise your holy name because if it had not been for you on our side, where would we be? So, Father God, we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you wasn't, wasn't just a, um, a spectator, but I hope you was a loving participated because the Bible clearly says, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord, whether it be in a hand clap, whether it be just lifting of the hands, long as it's a sincere praise unto the Lord, God will be pleased. So listen, not going to be before you long. I just want to give you some words of encouragement uh, from a title, something um, along the lines of income versus outcome. Income versus outcome. You know, a lot of times people want to be a blessing because the Bible clearly says it's better to give than receive. And that's truly true. When you're going through some things, you feel like you don't have enough or you feel like you're not capable of being a blessing or you feel like you want to give more. I tell you, it's better to give than receive. Number one, give God the honor by being obedient to God. You know, when people give, they look at it as like a sacrificial giving thing, like they're doing it uh, for, you know, sacrificing. And they feel like that they're doing it. But God, Bible require us to give. It's better to give. And he said, be cheerful givers. So God is a giver because he gave his only begotten son that we may have eternal life. And life more abundantly. So God is a giver and we are in his image and made in his likeness. So since we're made in his image and likeness, we are to also be givers. And it's not just something that we feel that we're doing to sacrifice because the Bible say obedience is better than sacrifice. So if God require us to be givers, you know, when it comes to giving love and giving um, forgiveness and, and giving um, his word and uh, encouraging word to you one another and, and giving praises unto the Lord. Um, these are requirements. And when we give, we show that we love God because we obey God. So it's not something we're doing, you know, saying, you know, based on our level of income or we feeling like, well, you know, I'm really sacrificing. Now, mind you, it's some people that do sacrifice, but look at it not like you're sacrificing. Look at it rather like we're being obedient because we love God. He said, if you love me, you will obey me. So, and, and, and so, so when you look at it from that standpoint, don't be discouraged if you feel you don't have a lot to give because somebody else may be giving more than you when it comes to uh, monetary things and something like that. Now, I, I want to um, draw your attention to two um, stories in the Bible. Number one, it was a story in the Bible when Jesus was looking at the offering plate. <laughs> you imagine if Jesus at church and, and everybody always complained about offering, but Jesus, that's that's what he was looking at, seeing how much people was giving, so, so to speak. You know, something to think about. But the Bible document, he was looking at the offering, and he was giving offering, and there was a lady that gave two mites, which is like equivalent to two pennies. And, you know, and he got up and spoke on her behalf and said she gave more than all of y'all. So it wasn't about the income when it comes to the size, but rather it was the outcome because her obedience. She could have been um, prideful and, and, and start thinking to herself like, this is so embarrassing to give two pennies. What What is this going to do? They may look at me in shame. And, the, and perhaps the, the people there probably did do that. But yet she still did it and God honored her. So God can honor you. Just be obedient. Give to those um, in need. 
you know, you see a homeless person or something, be a blessing to them. Because you know what he said, what you do to the least of my little ones, you do also to me. And you know what he said, you may be entertaining angels unaware. So be aware who you entertain, because they just may be an angel unaware. And that person that seemed to be less fortunate than you, you know, that person can truly be an angel. Because when you give, and you say, well, you know what? I don't want to give to this homeless person. This homeless person may throw it back because it's so little. But you know what? If Rather looking at it from that point of view and being selfish and being prideful and thinking about yourself, thinking about think about God's word of obedience and give to somebody less fortunate than you, and God will bless you. You know, I believe it's in Proverbs 28, 27, something like that, or 27, 28. Um, it talks about when you give to the poor and you don't ignore them, God will bless you and you will lack for nothing. But if you ignore them, you will have many curses. So when you look at it, look at it from a retrospect of obeying God's word concerning giving and not looking at the, how much you have, but rather be like that woman and give the little you do have, God will honor you and say, you know what? She gave more than everybody else. You know, everybody was getting all private and, you know, like I can give because I got a lot of money to give. But you know what she said? I'm going to give even though it's a little because she wasn't giving from a, a standpoint of showing off how much she can give. But she was giving because out of obedience. Amen. Where other people feel like, you know, it's a sacrifice because I'm giving all, you know, I'm giving from what I can afford and everything that Jesus said. He's like, y'all giving from from a standpoint of what y'all can afford. But she gave her all. And you know, that might be your all. And you give it to the homeless person, and that homeless person will pray for you, and, and that could be a blessing from God for you. So give. God bless you.